In this tutorial, you will see how to prepare a FIA model for performing fatigue and wild strength analysis with the help of SDC verifier. A part of crank boom is used as a start model. To perform a wild recognition in SDC verifier, press Add Wild Finder button. In this window, you can find a recognition settings that will help you to proceed with the Wild Finder. Selection allows you to pick only the part of the model that is necessary to be checked. In some cases, when beams are modeled with the plates, it's necessary to set a not welded properties to ignore the weld recognition in dead places. As an example, in the I-beam section, it is possible to pick the property of the web and the property of the flange and highlighted places will be ignored during the weld recognition. Action to current welds helps to operate with already existing welds. In cases when it's necessary to start recognition from the scratch or to include newly modeled welds. Check on fresh before search will show a notification whether there are places on the model with the free edges. For example, highlighted nodes do not belong to the elements on the top that can have influence on the weld recognition. To find welds between the properties with the same parameters but with different property IDs, use option treat as weld if different property IDs. To keep a circle welds as a single component, change the maximum turning angle option. It is also possible to find the weld between the elements of the same property if the maximum angle between their normal vectors is about the set value. For a weld strength analysis, when properties of the same dimensions but different IDs form for example a T-weld, it is possible to set all the parts for property 1, 2 and 3 as welded instead of setting only welded property to property 3. In this example, I will turn off check on fetch before search to speed up the process. To start the recognition, press the find welds button. After recognition is finished, welds that match one of the following criteria are displayed in the list. All weld parts in the weld are welded in case if each part contains a different property or a different property ID option is turned on. Different weld part lengths in the weld can appear in case when a cross weld is combined with a T weld. Length of any weld part of a weld is zero usually meets when there are free edges in the model. In our case, we can see that we have four welds with all weld parts welded. We will preview them in the model. To see the reason, we will turn on the sickness. As you can see, we have weld parts that are formed of different properties. In this window, you can easily edit, remove or preview the location of the selected welds in the model. You can check a weld design on any step of recognition by pressing the check on weld design button. As you can see, we have the same list of the welds. In this window, you can also add, edit, combine, break and remove selected welds. There is also a bunch of options to preview a location of the welds in the model or plot them in colors with IDs and with their dimensions. I will select all the welds and plot them in colors. Looking at these results, it seems that all welds are recognized. 
At the current stage, recognition is complete if only fatigue analysis should be performed. For a valve strength calculations, it's necessary to set a valve parameters. It can be performed in the details page. Current table displays only valve parts that fit the filter criteria. By default, only valved parts from all the recognized valves are shown in the table. It is possible to change a filter selection to display only valved parts on a piece of the model. In addition, it's possible to set a criterion to filter valved parts by rules. This makes it easier to set valve sizes to similar valved parts. It is important to notice that beams that are connected to plates are always welded. Valve part thickness of beam is the size of the thinnest wall of the beam. By default, asymmetric welds where weld parts are not perpendicular to each other with a tolerance of 5 degree are not included in the weld strength calculations. Asymmetric welds can be shown in the table or can be plotted on the model. It is possible to set a length and a thickness to all selected weld parts. Besides, each weld part has its own coordinate system and origin. They are used to transform stresses in weld direction. Coordinate system is represented in the table as the rotation angles to the global axis. We can select few weld parts and plot their coordinate systems. If all recognition settings fit the model requirements, next step is to set a weld type and the weld sizes. Depending on chosen weld type, different weld sizes can be set. For full penetration type, all dimensions are calculated automatically. Where throat thickness is equal to the penetration depth, that is a half of the weld part thickness. Partial penetration type requires weld sizes as an input. Weld angle and throat thickness are calculated automatically in this case. For a fillet type, weld leg distances are equal and the weld angle is always 45 degrees. Throat thickness can be calculated by the size or can be set manually. It's possible to input a custom value for throat thickness or take as a half of a weld part thickness. Our right type defines how to apply a new value to selected welds, to all or it's less or higher the current throat thickness of the weld part. As an example, for current model I will pick all the weld parts and apply throat thickness as a half of weld part thickness. You will see the notification window how many parts will be changed. When all the values are set, it's possible to plot the throat thickness values in the model. Weld part dimensions can also be changed directly in the table. Weld lengths will be marked with an asterisk and weld part thickness will show the original value in the brackets. If to change the weld sizes, other weld parameters will be recalculated automatically. To roll back changes, use the Restore Default button. 
However, in this case, you will need to reapply the valve sizes again. Selected valve parts can also be exported to components or groups. Amount of selected parts and related to them valves are shown in the brackets. Depending on your needs, it's possible to export them together or separately. When all dimensions are set, press OK to finish recognition. In this video, we have learned how to recognize valves, set their dimensions, and prepare your model to perform fatigue and valve strength code checking in SDC verifier.